Um, okay, then let's get started. Um, welcome to the Linux Plumbers Conference boot and uh, init mini-conf. Um, we have a program that is on the Azapad. Um, I, I'm not sure if you guys can read. Welcome to add notes there. Um, like everybody should be able to freely access that. Like the URL is azapad.osuosl.org slash lpc2013 dash boot dash and dash core dash os. Anyway, um, we have a couple of to uh, um, talks. That is a good thing. Um, uh, talks prepared. There's uh, first going to be a quick introduction of me and Kai's. Then we are going to hand over to the Upstart guys and they talk a little bit about the Upstart roadmap. Uh, then we'll have a coffee break and then we'll talk about control groups, um, uh, lightweight containers with Zanspawn and the other stuff is. Um, with Zanspawn, hassle-free bootloading with Gumi Boot, um, something about the bootloader spec and finally something about zero configuration file system discovery and mounting. Um, yeah, let's get started with the first thing, which is a little bit of a demo. Um, that we labeled five second boot delivered. The background of that is that um, Ian van der Ven a couple of years ago that at LPC um, had this, uh, did this presentation that was um, quite influential back at that time, which um, like the goal um, he, he presented there was basically to do five second boots. Back then um, he managed to somewhat reach that goal, but he had a heavily modified operating system do this nowadays um, with pretty much normal operating systems. Um, the way we're going to do that is that there's Kai's laptop and it's being recorded by my laptop. Now my laptop has this problem that um, the, the HDMI output um, which is why the screen goes blank. So uh, we'll try to do this a little bit demo here where Kai's machine is going to be booted up Video, um, the video is going to be here. We, we, we do it that way because usually the projectors take ages if we would connect Kai's laptop directly to the projector. So there's a lot of chance that this goes wrong. But uh, <laughs> we need to find the right time window where the, the screen doesn't uh, break down and uh, Kai's machine. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit sad. So that's a, that's a laptop running GNOME 3, and um, you should boot that. We're not doing a restart. Now it goes black. This is stock Fedora, so let's replace just the bootloader instead. So you saw the, the BIOS booting up there, and then you already see, fuck! <laughs> So anyway, just let's show it out the moment it went it went out again. Let's let's do that again. Thankfully, this is not like the five-minute boot-up <laughs> presentation. Otherwise, we might run out of time. So yeah, that's a bias, and then you have GNOME. By the way, the mouse cursor is the mouse cursor for my laptop, and there you go. See, this was uh, roughly five seconds for bias for the basic um, um, uh, setup of the system and everything. And it's a pretty complete um, GNOME thing. Like, the GNOME part um, is probably currently the, the slowest bit of it that we can still optimize up. Yeah, this was, yeah. <laughs> um, this was supposed to be like, like showing that, yeah, we, we now let's can do that. Of course, um, uh, it's not all um, like the successes of uh, of uh, what we have done in, in the boot process of Linux. It's uh, a big part of it is that SSDs, of course, are pretty ubiquitous nowadays. Also that uh, Windows wrote into the EFI specs that, uh, or the, the, the Windows certification specs, that the BIOS has to go through um, fully and within four seconds and things like that. But um, it's good to know that we, yeah. And can you show systemd analyze on this thing? Like, um, there's, there's tools built in in SystemD that, that can actually tell, tell you how long the BIOS took to initialize, how long the, the bootloader took to initialize, how long the kernel took to initialize, and how long the InterD took to initialize, and how long the, the, the base system. Yeah, we can't see anything. <laughs> can you maybe turn it back to... Um, <laughs> 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 this 
this is this is this is sad. Oh yeah, but See, demos can go wrong, but in this case, they didn't go wrong because we already knew that they would can not really work that way. Now, can you change the color to, to, to uh, white on black? Um, like, I'm um, going to test it and we... Mm -hmm. uh, preferences. Huh? Preferences. Oh, this is all ganz anders. It's not like this. Give me a profile and make an Einstellung. Edit. 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 Und dann machst du dann irgendwie Colors. Und dann machst du dann da Black and White. So that's the, the, the stuff that, that, that has been measured there, and it's uh, um, 2.3 seconds for the firmware. Um, yeah, but it's now truncated. Let's run that again. Um, then it's 26 uh, milliseconds for the bootloader, 762, uh, 26 uh, for the kernel, 300 something for InnetRD, and 700 milliseconds for, for the rest of user space, basically. Um, And the total, basically, without GNOME is, is 4.1 seconds nowadays, which is a pretty good value, I think. Um, um, uh, so from the firmware, it's basically the, the bootloader, which is in this case Gumi Boot, actually um, records the TSC when it first initializes, and then records the um, TSC when it hands over to the operating system. And it will also notice how long it's spent in the menu so that we could um, subtract that. No, no. ACPI version 6 exports something, the more finer grain values, but we only record the TSC and divide it by the uh, frequency. So. so the TSC is not accurate, but it's accurate enough for this, yeah. right? Um, yeah, and it's uh, yeah, the, actually that tool system the analyzes and like, yeah, Fedora, you can just run it. Should usually work. Of course, you need a bootloader that writes that down, right, like, and passes it to the operating system, which is currently gummy boot. But all of that is open, like, people could just implement the same stuff on any bootloader they wish. Anyway. <coughs> hmm? Yeah, that is guaranteed by the specs. So, yeah. And then, as mentioned, ACPI um, 5.0 or something, um, we can probably... Six, yeah, ACPI version 6. Rico Windows want to do get the data, so ACPI version 6 exports timing of the firmware. But as we don't, didn't get our fingers on, on one of those machines, we cannot add yeah, support for it yet. It oh, you, yours has that? Does it have the performance out of it? I yeah. don't, I never read it, so. Okay. But yeah, and in theory, we can at least in future do that for all machines. Um, I guess that's uh, for the demo, um, and then by this we would hand over to the upstart guys.